there's been a bit of a debate as to whether we're on the verge of some enormous recession. And, and markets are not only temperature takers in terms of what the mood is, but they're also mood determiners. And when things are down as much as they were midday today, and it was the worst start in 90 years in the market intraday today, um, that produces a lot of talk about whether we're entering into a great recession and whether the Fed and the Treasury are going to pull away the punch bowl in a way that hurts the market dramatically. My own view is a little different from that, and the other narrative really is one that says we had a very, very good economy going into COVID, and, and then we proceeded to react almost immediately with the Fed and the Treasury stepping on the gas to enable a quick recovery. But once we got that continuation of a very positive market with low unemployment and nice demand and good productivity gains post-COVID first phase, uh, we continued to use very muscular fiscal and monetary policy, which was almost like pouring kerosene on a burning fire. And it was designed to encourage tremendous risk taking. So it shouldn't be surprising to see a certain amount of inflation in that environment, driven by a quick recovery in demand and an inability of supply to recover quite so quickly. So there was a lot of debate about that. And the question is, will that inflationary, inflationary pressure be more transitory or will it be more long term? Oof. What do you think, Josh? I think it's more, the markets are saying it's more likely to be transitory. If you look at the long-term treasury rates or you look at the 10-year treasury rates, they have certainly haven't incorporated long-term embedded inflation. My own view tends to be that, that this will work itself out as markets do. However, I think there are some risks to that. I think a couple of the risks that could exist, for example, is Omicron has been quite well contained in China. If that proceeds to spread, that could exacerbate the supply interrupt, interruptions, particularly supply from China. In addition, energy price increases could also uh, cause some interruption to that re-equilibrating of the capital markets. So I think inflation could have some twists and turns here. Labor uh, participation is another issue. People who have just la left the labor force are not likely to re-enter immediately, so those shortages might be a bit persistent. But I think generally speaking, um, it, it, it would be unusual given the circumstances here to see the markets completely uh, give up to some sort of more recessionary uh, demand driven uh, downturn.